Unless you've been using a service like Picasa or Flickr to store your photos, I bet that most of your pictures are on Facebook. It makes sense since you want to put photos where your friends can see them, but if you're switching to Google Plus or using both networks, you should share your pictures on there too. I'm Sharon Vakting for CNET.com here to show you how to move your photos from Facebook to Google Plus. Basically, what we need to do is download your Facebook album so that you can easily re-upload them to Google+. Lots of free online tools let you do this, but I have a couple favorites. As always, your best bet is to use Facebook's built-in data downloader because it's a guaranteed safe and proprietary tool. The only annoying part about getting your photos this way is that it takes a few hours to a day for Facebook to email you the download link. Go to your account settings, then hit download your information. Once the download is ready, you'll get a zip folder of your Facebook info like messages and wall posts and all your photos organized into folders by album. But if you're more of a want it now kind of person, check out Pick and Zip. It's a free web app that lets you download albums plus any photos that you've been tagged in. Just go to pickandzip.com, log in with Facebook, head to download, and select download all photos. If you have a ton of pictures, this might take a while. I had about 3,500 and it took five minutes. The download will come as a zipped folder, which you should decompress, usually by double-clicking it on a Mac or selecting Extract All Files in Windows. You'll see an Albums folder with all your albums and a Tagged folder with all the photos you've been tagged in. Once you have your Facebook photos on your computer, it's time to head to Google+. Go to View Profile, then Photos, and Upload New Photos. Here, you can create one album at a time. You can't upload all your album folders at once. Click Select Photos from Computer, find an album you want to upload, select the photos in that folder, and hit Open. Once the photos are uploaded, give the album a name and hit Create Album. Here, you can add a comment about the album, which will show up in your stream, and decide which circles you want to share it with. If you want it to be private, just enter your own name or email address. Share it, and the album will show up in the streams of the people you shared it with and in the Photos tab on your profile. You can always change the album privacy options by going to Photos, then View All Your Albums, click the album you want to edit, and change the Visible To option. And here's an extra tip. Unlike Facebook, Google Plus has a built-in photo editor. Click on a photo and select Actions. You can rotate the photo or click Edit Photo for coloring effects like cross-processing or black and white. In this view, you can also tag people in your photos by selecting Add Tag and entering the person's name or email address if they're not on Google Plus yet. So go ahead and move your photo memories to Google Plus, especially if you think you'll be spending more time there than Facebook. And feel free to leave behind any baggage you're ready to retire. For more how-tos, visit howto.cnet.com and feel free to ask me any questions on my Facebook page. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin and I'll see you on the interwebs. Thank you.